You're now listening to the Check 2 Studio Podcast with your hosts, Austin and Trevor, bringing you the latest in video marketing and production. Event coverage, covering the event. People are doing crazy stuff. They want to get it on film, get it to the rest of the masses who may not have been there, or help them promote future events, coverage from a past event. So let's take a look at the event you covered. Ta-da! All right, so this is for Victory Casino Cruise Line. So we're just going to watch it, I guess? Well, hold up. We are going to watch it, but we are not going to watch it in full time all alone. We've been doing that a little bit, but the podcast listeners, they want it to be a little more exciting. So I have seen this one time, and I pulled out some gems. In fact, Trevor's treasures. (laughs) Okay, tell me what this is all about. And Trevor's tre- treasures. Can you, wait, you, you watch this video. I watched this video. Okay. I pulled out some choice moments that I will try to find and stop. Um, what they are is basically moments where maybe I ask you a question. How did you pull this off? Or maybe it's just ridiculous. Or maybe it's just a point where I can be a jerk because I'm always looking for that opportunity. You're putting me on trial here. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to operate this with my left hand. Turn this down just a little bit. Hey, what's up? Joey Batona. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who is this? Uh, <laughs> um, the guy, the gentleman in the Rocco's Modern Life hat is uh, Joey Fatone. And that was my first treasure, was not actually Joey Fatone. It's that Mako's Modern Life. Uh, that's a treasure. I mean, how much did you watch of, I, we of actually, that? I actually talked to him about that hat. It's a good choice. He told me that Nickelodeon gave him that hat because he, he did an event with Nickelodeon and they gave it to him. Well, here is a real treasure. It's actually coming up right here in a second. Joey Fatone's not the treasure, Trevor? Mm, no, it's actually number two is coming up. When you interview somebody, you want to create a atmosphere where they can be successful, right? And maybe remind them what words and names they should be saying. I am on the victory. Oh. <laughs> maybe feed them a few lines so that they don't have to look around. <laughs> I know what this is. That's, uh, we need it. It is a replay for those of you that can't watch and Joey Fatone is on screen and he said, we're here on the, and he takes a big look over his shoulder. He's like, where am I again? <laughs> so, uh, I, yeah, I, I interviewed him and we went over it a couple times and, uh, he, you know, he, <laughs> So he, he says, we're on the, and he turns, because you can't see it in the shot, but to to his left there, there's a sign for Victory Casino Cruise Lines, and he needed to look at the sign to remember what the name of it was, because he knew it was Victory Casino. Like I, I don't want to say like he didn't know, but um, I, he was probably looking to see if it was Victory Casino Cruise Lines, Victory exactly. Casino Cruises, Syntax. or if it was Victory Cruises. Like He knew, he knew where he was. <laughs> Uh, he's a very sharp guy. Like I, I had dinner with him this night, me and a couple other people. He's very, uh, very sharp. So it's not like he didn't know, but he, I, I know uh, Pete Lynch, the marketing director for director for uh, Casino Cruise Lines, is is super nice guy, and he's the kind of guy that when you work for him, you just want to get stuff right because he's just so grateful, even when you don't. Like he just loves it. So I know Joey was just trying to make sure that he he did it right. But it's it's funny that he stopped and he looks over his shoulder like that. To <laughs> remember, that's a good treasure. There we go. So as we're moving along, one of our first That was shots Treasure here, 2? Or? That was really Treasure 2. Okay. Uh, Rocco's Modern Life was number one. And then uh, the peak around the shoulder was number two. I do like what we're leading into here. This isn't a treasure, but you have a little product placement. We want to get as much of the brand in there. Um, mm. So you had the Victory Casino on the edge of the playing cards here. And I like that. Oh, go back. I didn't. Even, I didn't even know about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, they put their product everywhere, so you're gonna see it's, it. In you're lots gonna. Of places. See, you're gonna see it, dude. They're not letting you get by, dude. You're not getting away with it. There it is. Oh, it's right okay. There so on right the there, there on the left. So before, go back to Joey real quick, because um, uh, we got to make this as educational as possible. With these event coverage things, it I have to go through the port, and I've got to bring all my equipment on a boat, and the gangway. I don't get to go on with the passengers. I go on through where the other where employees go and entertainment goes and the gangway i'm going over the water on this little ramp and all of my stuff and I, i've taken a lot out and i've out on this boat before and i've taken small kits with me out on this boat before and i took 
more with me on this one than I normally do. I usually, I can do this gig with a monopod, an A7S II, a couple of lenses, and a crane with an A6500. I can just get that stuff on. I'm good. Not I don't use any lights. I use available lights. But I knew that Joy Fatone was going to be there on this one. And sometimes they have celebrity guests. So if I know there's a celebrity guest, I bring more lighting. So I did put a little bit of lighting up. It's just some panels that run on batteries and a couple of light stands. So it's not like I could go crazy. But the ceiling in Victory Casino is gold ceiling tiles. So the white balance, it's the white balance nightmare of your life. And, and if they come up later, I'll point them out. But um, there's a little bit of light over his shoulder because I did kind of have a kicker uh, going off. And then I had a little bit of fill here on the left side of his face. So go ahead and move on. I just wanted to talk about that. Well, we're going to be leading in right to my next treasure, treasure number three. So this is a drone shot. And every time you take the drone out, everyone's got to wave at it like they're a boat departing and it's you're, Titanic. You're, you're lucky people don't throw stuff at it. Oh, my goodness. And it's just like, hey, the idea is we're getting an aerial of activity going on, not did you, you find, waving did you at find a, a Did you find a middle finger or something in here? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. But I did find these two people really wanting to let you know that they see the drone. Where are they? Uh, well, we got this gentleman right here who I can tell just from his movement had a few brewskis. Yeah. And then uh, this lady is in the 80s. She thought there was, she was in the 90s, but uh, I think she's in the 80s. So she, so she listens behind. to Oingo Boingo. <laughs> That's right. Um, so you're getting a whole shot here. Yo, did you not see me? Go back. Oh, I didn't. That should have been one of your treasures, dude. Go back a little bit more. It's like, where's Waldo in here? There, I, see my, You can see my feet up in the top left. See my jeans on top. Look up where the ACs are on top. Oh, of the, there you are. Those oh are my, my feet right there. So um, you're speed ramping right here. Come on. You now. know what? So not only that, but um, this shot didn't really. It, the boat's moving, and I'm flying a Mavic off of this boat. And honestly, like this shot, I think has some digital punch in and post. It's probably not. It's not the sharpest shot. Mm -hmm. um, but he really wanted to show the the crowd out there. And I'm telling you, man, it was tough. This shot was tough to get, so it's not... Because uh, while the boat's moving, you're also trying to orbit to get all the action to make it interesting. Right, and then I'm trying also not to get a bunch of this, the ACs, the ACs and ugly stuff up on top of there and get myself. So this shot required some punch in, so it's, it's not the sharpest, but it, it sells like the party atmosphere, and um, they really loved the drone footage because they never had that at, at like this before where we had people out there, and yeah. um, it's tough to get people that can fly off the deck. It's and they, the the was port, it, were you nervous at all? How did how yes, did you feel yes. while you were doing it? Terrible. Heart was racing. No, start sweating I mean, a I, I'll bit. be honest. I, I, if the drone went in the water, it went in the water. And this is actually the second drone shot because obviously we had a drone shot Whoa, earlier. Nice pause on yeah. that. Yeah, not not a treasure. That's oh, nice. that's a treasure. Here dude. we go. This is a treasure because you have to have when it's a when it's a highlight mm -hmm. when it's an event. You just got to have your head on a swivel to find where's the action at. And you found this gentleman, and this, this isn't the only time he'll be shown. This isn't the hard. He wasn't the hardest gentleman to find, to be honest. He this won the costume contest. It was a '90s party, so there was people. There was a costume contest, and this guy won it, dude. He was. He deserved uh, it. He needs no introduction. But I'll, yeah, for those of you listening, this is a gentleman who is dressed up like Urkel. none other than Stephen Urkel, not Stefan. Family. He's Stephen, dude. He has not gotten into that porter potty device that they painted silver and put doodads on the outside of no this is original steve urkel we're talking jaleel white classic right that's here. right from family matters i thought that actually was jaleel white for a little bit but <laughs> no you actually i can't go like real fine-tuned but you can see you the thought, lady there she is just checking him out she, he oh, deserved it like oh, i said dude. he was getting lots of attention i'm sure this guy found this video on facebook too and like i talked to him on facebook oh Hunter S. Thompson. That's Hunter S. Thompson, uh, very much in the uh, attire of Fear and lo Loathing in Las Vegas. So that guy was awesome. I stopped him. I said, don't you go anywhere. I got a wide-angle lens. Yeah, you threw that 14 on there, right? I did. I threw the 14 millimeter on there, and that's how this occurred. This Hunter there S. Is. Thompson. Oh, oh, there it is. This 14 millimeter. There it is. That nice piece of glass. Mm. It's super the, wide the big front element so yeah it's not actually a fisheye but if you get close enough you get that warping element i mean look at it, it looks like it came right out of fear and loathing in las vegas True. looks like it just swiped some footage oh here we go dude look at him there go dude. Look at him go. whoa and here we go one of the famous 
Austin regalia camera movements. What is this? What I call you? it. It's like a. It's like a. Do it's like doing a dolly zoom, but also moving to the right or left, so you get parallax. So I call it the parallax zoom. We did a video about this on the YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out. So let's let's do a recap. So what I'm doing is I'm zooming out and moving to the right. Yep. And there's a speed ramp a speed at the end ramp, transition. A whoosh. So you're pulling out all the stops, making it interesting. And we got all the different elements. There's in a here. really cool one right here, transition. It looks like I warp from upstairs to downstairs. Yeah. Let's, let's watch it without okay. interrupting. And this is actually one of my treasures, too, because it's another parallax zoom. But I really like this one. And you can see that gold ceiling. The, gold yeah, okay, that's what we're talking ceiling. about. That's the gold ceiling that makes it impossible. Is this the, they were singing about in that song? Mm. I'm Why confused. can't I think of the guy? Gold, gold on the ceiling. So this is where you actually are. You're gonna tilt down, and then you're gonna go into this transition. Oh, but we need oh, to watch it. We man. need to watch it uninter uninterrupted. Okay, here we go. So we're starting on the no, ceiling. No, go further. Yeah, go further back. We just go from here. We're starting the gold ceiling. Tilt down. Ooh. And yeah, that's downstairs like that. from where I was before. So people that are on the boat, they're gonna be like, whoa. How do you get down there? Yeah. So I did like a flurry of like, sometimes you do these kind of moves like this. You create like a really dreamy like uh, effect by doing a bunch of like weird warping zooms where you're moving around and zooming at the same time. Dolly zooms, speed ramps, and all these things to create like a flurry effect. And that's what you're kind of seeing here in this little sequence. Making it fun. Okay. No, I bet. Okay. This is a treasure, not because... There's three attractive ladies taking a picture. It's because they're taking a selfie on their cell phone, mm. but shortly out of frame, which I don't know if I can get fine tuned enough. Oh, oh, can can you use a keyboard and just like tap left, like three frames? There we go. You see right there a gentleman with a strap and an enormous camera. So they decided, you know what? I don't know who that is. We're just talking about you know who that is. That's, that's Wayne. Not, no, that's not Wayne. Yes, it is. No, no, it's not. How much you want to bet me? That's not Wayne, because Wayne was there, and he was he only wears Wayne. Sh Wayne Sysok is a photographer that shoots on the boat, but he only wears black. On this '90s party, they had extra photographers, and that's not Wayne. Um, but Wayne might show up if you look. That's somebody else. I'm telling you, that's Wayne. I see Wayne. But all anyway, the time. he has that's a camera, Wayne. flash, full frame, and the ladies decided they needed to take a selfie instead. That's true. Um, and then here we go. We got some more Joey, some more parallax intensity. This guy killed it, dude. Is he just breaking it down? Mm hmm. He saw me with the camera on the dance floor, dude. And he he found you. Here we go. More action. More dancing. So, so people are trying to plot the 90s moves, right? You know, I really, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> I, uh, this was, uh, this was right after I stopped the Hunter S. Thompson impersonator in the hallway and switched to the 14. I was like, well, I got the 14 on. Let's go out and get some weirdness. So I got the moon more in the wild background. stuff. What? I didn't even notice the moon. I actually thought that was just a light for some reason. Uh, nope. That's yeah. You know it's what I did? I hung the, the one twenty D way up in the sky at two hundred and fifty thousand miles away, and because uh, you know the Earth is flat and the moon is fake, so that's true. And Definitely the moon landing is also fake. I'm the one that put it up there. Okay, so I mean break dancing is huge in the '90s. Although I don't know if I saw real. How did you get this effect? Mm. It's like tilting, orbiting, like. What's going on here? Let me watch it again. I have to think. Wait, stop it. Pause it. I need to. So that's definitely the 14 millimeter. So what that. Like swinging it across. You know what it is? It's on the monopod. And I'm holding the monopod up with the camera. And I've got the monitor on top tilted down. Hmm. So I've got the, the small HD focus monitor on top of the camera tilted all the way down. In the mon and, the, and I'm holding the bottom of the monopod. So it's, it's three or four feet away. The camera's three or four feet up in the air. And then, you know, the weight of the lens, you just, it just kind of swings around. Like, I'm just, woo, like, gonna break something. On the fly trapeze. Well, it's a cool shot. Definitely mixes in with the rest of the wild By movement. the way, I think I saw Wayne. Go back. Here, I'll do You're it. You're gonna have to do a little more fine tune. Look at this guy. Hunter right here, S right dude. there. And he's is wearing that, a blue shirt. Is that Wayne? That's him, dude. I'm telling you. Listen, we're gonna send that shot to Wayne and he's gonna know, okay, yeah, that was me. Dang it. Maybe it was Wayne. Yeah. People just getting down, having a good time. And here we go. I told you, the ladies love them. I mean, I don't have to tell you, but I noticed that. Mixing it up. 
He did a lot of songs too, right, Joey? Um, he didn't. Uh, I don't think he, he was just emceeing. Oh, okay. so check it out. Um, go back. Oh, wait, I'll do it. You know the guy that that message us Garrett is right there. Oh, okay. This guy in the bottom left, his name's Garrett. He's like the promoter for a couple of things, and he was like, "Oh, can you edit some video?" Because he saw this, and I'm like, I, "I don't know if I could edit somebody else's video to to turn into something like this." Um, because I kind of like was doing a lot of these tricks in person, so I had to decline to edit. But he's a cool guy. Just wanted to point that out. Yeah, and look, he's very excited to be hanging out with Garrett. Look at that face. Yeah, Joey's excited about Garrett, dude. <laughs> Smiles all around. More action here. Joey's getting the ladies up there. Oh man, what is that? Our fourth, fifth appearance? Here we go. The logo. That's right. Well, what's going on behind here? What's this effect in the background? Uh, hmm. It's a light leak that I. Like a real one or like a. No, I mean, it's real. Somebody shot it, but I, I got it in a but pack. You. Okay, all right. Just to make it interesting. In fact, I have a few other oh, things to talk we about. Go. go back. How far? Uh, it just anywhere in the video because there's a couple of things that I want to talk about. Counterbalancing that gold ceiling and white balance. And there's a couple of techniques that I employed. Um, not here. Just let it. Yeah, let me see the mouse. I'll find here, it. You can use the pad. Um, oh, yeah. Look at that phone, by the way. How is that not a treasure, dude? Um, well, I mean, it's it's nice, but it was expected. That's true. It's a 90s party. But that's like an 80s phone. So that guy was out of date even for the 90s party. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can find some here. So this part is, this is up in the nightclub. It doesn't have the gold ceiling here. But this is this is in the casino where the, the gold ceiling is. So you don't just put that on tungsten and just let it no, fly? No, it won't work. Do you see this? how the edges are purple? There's a purple vignette. And it works well. Like it took me like filming on the boat like a couple of times to to realize this, but because this is like everything's like super yellow. Even even like setting the white balance, like it's super yellow. And when you set it to to fix the skin tones, everything else looks really weird because it's a gold ceiling. There's gold light being shined on everyone. There's okay? just no white balance in that. Right, but what what two colors go good together? Yellow and uh, purple, right? Mm. So I create this purple. Um, vignette in photoshop and i use it every time i film on the boat and it just it really huh there it is here see that it just helps your eye and balances well, it, it just out. balances out the image because otherwise it's a yellow terrible image like all the casino imagery is great and this is the nightclub so it doesn't need it here yeah casino or the nightclub is going crazy the nightclub has anyway. like disco lighting there's a little bit of it here this is outside on the deck after dark I think like sometimes I'll stretch it over like the whole timeline if it looks good, but see there's a little bit of it in here yeah, too. And this this is in the nightclub, so there's some gold ceiling, but you see not every tile's gold. Yeah. So no matter where you go on the boat, um, it's it can be a little bit difficult. And then we might you and you and I might be going out there to film there, tell it some some for them soon. So yep. luckily I have the experience of shooting on this particular boat. Um, they have me come out four or five times a year. And uh, for those of you that are only listening to the podcast, I paused it on a beautiful Hunter S. Thompson still here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's just, it's a good time. People go out, they gamble, they win money. Um, last time I was out there, somebody won 17790 or no, $777.77. Hmm. How much do you think taxes takes it at? Oh man, it's like 50%. 50%. It's a lot. So Uncle Sam won and also some lady won. She kept saying, oh, my God, oh, my God. Of course, that's what you would say Yeah. when you win. Mm. So this was a very interesting recap of a live event, and this was a very special live event. This wasn't just some on-the-ground live event. Um, you had you were on a boat. You had a celebrity there. It had a theme, and it had a lot of weird elements, and everything said and done came out amazing. Tell me what the client thought of it. They loved it, dude. Um, they actually said that this was the best one I'd ever done for them. And um, I think that what they really liked was like that flurry of stuff, like like these portions where I'm doing all that speed ramping mm -hmm. and weird zooms like that. Were all of them about this length? What is this one, two minutes? You know, what is it? Uh, I mean, I'm shorter than that. It's like no, a minute. it's like a minute. Yeah, it's like a minute and a half. Sometimes I go like two and a half minutes. It really just depends. I mean, what they're using these for... 
is promotion. So like they just want to have a social media presence. Like they, they, they're a very compartmentalized company. So like, it's hard to explain. Like they bring me on the guy who hires me, Pete, he's the, the marketing manager manager, but you know, he actually pays me out of the entertainment budget, like what the bands get paid out of. Mm. And like, if they bring on a comedian or a celebrity, I get paid out of that and not out of the marketing budget. But it's funny because you and I have been contacted by the marketing branch now of the company. And it's like, I'm working with completely different people. And I told Pete, the guy who hires me for these, I'm like, oh, hey, man, yeah, I'm looking forward to working with you. And he's like, oh, I have no idea about any of that. That's I just gave your name to the marketing people. He actually told me that he uh, that um, Joey Fatone's agent saw the video and really liked it and that they were asking for my information, too. So, wow. Um, I don't know. I never was, I never heard from him. I never s- s- heard back. I never, he just said that they were, they really liked the video and they were interested in, in uh, talking to me. But so if you know, Joey, um, tell him to call us or maybe give us some information. I'll call him. I'll call anybody at least five times. Until they uh, tell me to stop. Yeah. We'll call him up. He was really cool. Like I said, Joey Fatone was really cool. It's like just, uh, I, I worked with other, other celebrities before on the casino cruise lines. And they're always really cool. They get, uh, you know, they're usually not like people that are like A-listers in like at this point. Like, I don't know where you would put Joey Fatone, but, um, you know, he's out there in the world doing his things, trying to stay relevant as best he can. But, you know, they're not getting like the rock, you know what I mean? Hmm. Well, I think it was impressive. I know a lot of people, there was a lot of buzz around it when he was in this area. Yeah. So, and, and we had dinner with him and it's funny, like just like any, anybody you talk to, like you, you sit down and you're at dinner and you're talking about stuff, you're talking about current events. It's like, he was talking about the same stuff that like everybody else was talking about. It was like, you know, it was right around the time that, uh, and, and not to talk about this or anything, but Bill Cosby had like a, uh, a, a sentencing snafu. come down or, well, it's more than a snafu dude. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, to put it mildly, like, oh, uh, to yeah. understate it. Like this, you think in Bill Cosby's life, this goes down as a snafu. Like, well, I had one snafu, but, uh, <laughs> but no, he, I think he had some court case or something. And that's what, uh, everybody was talking about. And that's what Joey Fatone was just talking about that. It's like everybody else was talking about that. Like whatever current event, current events are going on. So let's see, is there any more ground we can cover? I think we hit it all. Do you think that I should put, uh, that this is a special episode with guest Joey Fatone? Would that be not true would that be clickbaiting i mean what do you think i think that would be a snafu <laughs> <laughs> all right so what say you i say uh thank you for watching check two shoot first ask questions later